look for this seam on the back. I think it's easier to find it along the back. back of it. You can sort of see where this end of your pad is, like right along here. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's pretty good. It's got a nice line to it. It's on the outside of the left. Mm -hmm. right now. Thinking of that little story you just told us, Steve. It kind of reminds me of a story from World War II about a uh, paratrooper who got caught by Germans after a jump. He didn't realize it at the time until it, after the war was over, but he got captured and dragged off to a camp and stuck in this tiny ass little cell where he could barely even move. Turns out it's worth okay. a while because he had a broken neck from the fall. Battery power! Hey. Stuck in that hey. cell hmm? Let, it, let Abe finish. No, I, I just wanted to make one point here. When I did that cut, I stayed on this side of it, of the scene, yeah. Yeah. so that this would be on the road side after. Mm -hmm. So, uh, more or less like the same as your sirloin tip. Absolutely. Yeah. <coughs> same idea. Sure, I, sure. I, I, looked at the, I looked at my Fine. seam and I stayed on this side of it. Because I've got a nice presentation side off. now there too, right? Yeah. Yeah, so if you went to a, li a little too tight on that, then it wouldn't look very good. So your sirloin so tip has an eye and the same for yeah, that's, is that the scene there? Yeah, that's, that's the end of the scene right there, so it couldn't have got it much better than that. Uh, the key here, when you're taking off the fat and the goop and stuff off of the inside of the outside, <laughs> is my main concern here it isn't this little bit of silver skin and stuff, it's just real heavy gristle line along this side. Do you want to clean up all the goop too? Or? Well, some of it, yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah. But the key here is, like I said, to get... Just let me know when you want some music in the background. So you don't have much meat left on there? This card, that's a little stir fry. Actually, uh, so you try and make stir fry out of most of everything that you have left over, Ed, instead of making stew out of it. Yeah, yeah, if you can. I mean, uh, that's. I mean, where's, where's your profit, right? Oh, stir fry. Yeah, stir fry and delicated steaks. And yeah. I've just chosen to do this whole demo yeah. on stir fry. By taking the side muscle off, it squares this piece up real nice too. Because you've got a tapered end here, right? Yep. You just cut that off anyway. Yeah. You don't trim off uh, that just can't the membrane be. or Well, I trimmed off all the membrane pretty much. Like I I've got it, you know, where I I think it's gonna gonna display very, very nicely. Okay. Like I've done a lot of trimming on this. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Mr. Brown. Hello, Eduardo. How are you? Good morning. Did he grab his pig's feet, babe? Lots of tools. No, he never got it. I should get it. Honey, Eduardo. You never got your pig's feet. I know. I'm sorry. I had to throw. I had to throw him out. Up in my apartment. I'm just teasing you. So, <laughs> good call. <laughs> Gross profit for the program went down the toilet. <laughs> Two pig feet. <laughs> Smoked pig feet. Oh, they so were just normal pig feet. Yeah, oh, yeah. There was some. Labor and oh, yeah, no, but the, the labor. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, uh, hey, wait, what would they call a baron of beef? The baron is the inside with the longer. full cap taken off and completely denuded. We've got one more left. You can take it up. And then and they, they just, yeah. like, they roast that for uh, buffets and stuff like yeah, that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. They just roast the whole thing's whole. And just like, even that, that, on a rotisserie roast, that, you know? It's good that you're going to medicine now. <laughs> That's very good for for Saint and uh, our sanity. And our sanity. <laughs> Bad for the customers in Medicine Hat, though. <laughs> you fit in good in Medicine Hat. Yeah. I've already met the guys. Yeah. You're gonna be awesome. just, you're gonna be fitting in perfectly with that group. Yeah. So, lovely city. I'm the oldest guy that works there. Really? How old's everybody else? That's why he said he goes in six months. If you can do what we're doing, I'll put you in management position. Damn. He's, that's why he started me off at twenty bucks an hour. Nice. How old are the He's other like, you're people? the oldest meat cutter that I have. And he goes, in six months' time, you'll be my assistant. How old are the other people? 18. There's uh, <laughs> one guy that was in there cutting meat that Whoa. was 22. And the only other guy is the manager. And there's one guy just started and he has no experience. So there's only going to be three of you plus a manager? Yeah. You know, no. Yeah, yeah. four of us total. <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's funny, you know, I, start, I started in this business when I was 17, and Jerry DeLue used to teach here with me. He started when his dad owned a butcher shop in Holland, and he started when he was six. He had his first little boning knife. <laughs> six years old, cutting meat. Oh, that's cute. When I was a kid, my family went on family vacations to Madison. Oh, yeah. Really? We go stay in a hotel with a water slide. That's a beautiful place. Beautiful. Nice hills. And unbelievable. I couldn't believe how nice it was. Oh, it's a nice community. It's like an older community. Like everything's like. What I noticed is like like where I'm from, everything's like 1800s. It's not quite that old, but I mean like it's redone. And I notice a lot of medicine hats like that. Just they keep everything nice and well. Spick and span. No dumpy places or. So these little outside round steaks, obviously tough muscles, so I kind of make like almost like a breakfast steak out of them. They're just called outside round steaks, but, but they cook up fairly nice this way. For my big sweaty <laughs> armpit. So a few little outside round steaks. And the end pieces for delicated steaks and a stir fry again. Yeah, you, you certainly do. Right. The only person I can think of doing that. There's maybe three in this class that I think can do. If that. you can do everything that I've done here and make sausage, you can 100%. 100%. <laughs> and sausage? And sausage. Steve's like, mm. and bacon. And bacon, yeah. And bacon. Kebabs. Kebabs, yeah. Tumble products. 
Quarter on blues. Hey, you can actually do a tumble product. You could, yeah, you could do some kebabs. Yeah, you could take the, you could use the sterling cap. Yeah, you could, you could use that little uh, top cap muscle, right? Yeah. Take your kebabs.